Political analysts tell us these investigations are disruptive to the day to day running of the city of New Orleans. And Ashlyn Brothers joins us now with more. Ashlyn. Well, Lauren and Meg, Dillard University political analyst Dr. Robert Collins tells me this whole thing is unfair to New Orleans voters. As long as these investigations are hanging over um, the city hall as a cloud, it disrupts the day to day operations of the taxpayers and the taxpayers business is simply not getting done. 28. That's the number of times the word mayor appears in former New Orleans police officer Jeffrey Vappi's indictment. 44 times federal documents make mention of public official one described as the mayor of the city of New Orleans. If I was the mayor of the city, I, I would not be feeling comfortable tonight. Fox 8 political analyst Mike Sherman says Mayor Cantrell lying low the past few weeks is a defensive political strategy. She's now got the full weight of the federal government looking into her every action. And what's clear is the person probably closest to her in the world right now one of the two closest people to her, has been indicted. Collins says the situations outlined in this 17-page court document scream both legal and ethical conflicts of interest. There's a specific process that any sort of investigations are, are supposed to work and people are supposed to, you know, stay, um, you, know, you know, within their ranks and, and allow the process to play out. Court documents reveal Mayor Cantrell and Vappi, who allegedly exchanged personal and romantic messages and photographs, later discussed and ultimately deleted unencrypted messages. The indictment also includes allegations that the former NOPD interim superintendent was pressured to exonerate Vappi in an internal investigation into the NOPD time cards he submitted. And her refusal to do so may have cost her her job. There was a lot of secretive backroom deals, secretive backroom meetings, which regardless of the outcome of those meetings, those meetings themselves are inappropriate. Collins calls into question what distrust could do to the community. So if the mayor lied about their relationship, uh, what else has she lied about? He says these distractions have got to go so City Hall can get back to business. Collins says for many months now, Mayor Cantrell has retained the services of a very expensive, high-profile, white-collar criminal defense attorney. One would only hire if they were expecting an indictment. Lauren?